Hello all, so here you can see that we've got the Harris 555 timer, or, well, not actually the Harris 555 timer because that name's taken. But uh, it uses the transistor schematic that I've shown in the SPICE diagram, and here I'm just using a really, really cheapo breadboard power supply, currently connected to 3.3 volts, and as you can see here, it's connected to my oscilloscope, and as I go over to it, voila, you can see the waveform. And this is using two 1K resistors for the timing section. And as you can see, the duty cycle is actually pretty close to the 66%. That should be theoretical. So I'll just change over to my variable pulse width modulating scheme. So here I've replaced one of the timing... Well, actually, I've not even replaced anything. I've added in two diodes like so and a potentiometer. And by varying that, you can vary the pulse width that is displayed on the screen. So if you just see here, it's just a simple part and you vary like so. And if I show you on the oscilloscope, you can see that the pulse width varies. And how this works is the resistance between the charge and discharge path of the timing capacitor here changes because these two diodes only allow current to flow one way. And when you vary the resistance on the variable resistor, you change the charge and discharge times pretty much and there is a 1k resistor just here to ensure that the current doesn't get exceeded or anything like that.